I'm just going to go and do that because it's all the same process. So you just hit, you tap on whichever one you want to use, edit, you got to change that one to negative 50. And then the last elevator that we added, we didn't get that to 50. So we're going to change that to 50 real quick. And then I thought I had some expo in here. Let's check. Nope, curve is at diff zero, so that's good. Let's check the other one. Just seeing if I need to change anything. Diff zero, so we're good. In my other plane, I had to change the curve to expo, but it doesn't look like we have to do that here. So, yeah, this one's even easier. We already got our expo on that first page. Now we've got our elevons, and as you can see, I changed them all to 50s like they're supposed to be. So, 50, negative 50, 50, 50. Now that's going to match this. And I think we're done. So we're going to test now. 50, negative 50, 50, 50. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll just back out. So we've got T-motor wing should be all set up. We're going to plug in and try it. This T-motor wing is a 6S, well, it's supposed to be 4S, but it comes with an F45 amp 6S ESC and an F40, uh, F80 2500 motor. I like to run it on a 5S 1850 Dynagy because that gets good CO, COG. Here's a GoPro up front. But anyway, we're going to check it out. I'm actually going to be smart and take the prop off first real quick. Bear with me. Now I had the crossfire on before, so we shouldn't have to do any calibration. We shouldn't have to do anything other than just test it and it should work if I did it right. But I learned this half hour ago on my little plane, so we'll see. All right, let's power it up. We're gonna use a 6S power up though, just cause that's what I got here. I was using that on the little wing. All right, right, left. Well, we definitely don't have it right. We're going to have to figure out what we're doing wrong. 